Hello there. Hi. It's a uh, it's Sunday. Yeah. We just got donuts. She has been begging me to go where? Doge! What do you want there? Squishmallow cards. Apparently there's squishmallow cards, trading cards that she wants. And limited edition squishmallows. So we're gonna go to Target. We're gonna see what they have. Probably nothing, since I was there yesterday and they had nothing. They typically don't restock on Saturday nights or Sunday mornings. They will probably restock tomorrow, but I'm going to humor her, take her to Target, show her that they don't have anything. And if they have something, then she can say, I told you so. So, there you go. But right now, I'm gonna try and enjoy my donut while driving and avoiding these crazy people on this beautiful Sunday fun day morning. There's like birds circling and I'm scared they're gonna, they're gonna kill me. They're gonna they're swoop down. My, they're gonna peck my eyeballs out. You've been watching too many movies. Anyway, we're at Target right ah! now. I'm looking for the unmasked Catwoman and I'm looking for AE Dub figures, specifically Sting, Stinger. What are you looking for, child? <laughs> Fidget, mini friends, and squishmallows. And squishmallows. All right, it's nice and quiet, by the way. DKR wave. And no soups, so they have three out of four. I might get this one, it's kind of cool. Cygor, Gunslinger, lots of pops, Big Battinson, Thalog, look at that. That's cool. Thalog. Here's an AE dub. We got Santana and Ortiz. <clears throat> my mini squishmallows, and I want them to be in here because they keep falling down. How much is that thing? It's in the dollar section. So well, that's a good. Why is Post Malone in armor and a sword? Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's go check the toy section. Hey. They got the Vega. They got Hortons for days. DX Triple H Hurricane Scorp. Cape Season, Tim Tebow, Tony Stankor. This one's cool, Triclops. Beef O'Brady right there. Furry legs. Not as good as Jordan. Don't you like all this commentary, guys? And Pattinson. Riddler, Demon, Whoa. Joker. I'm looking for that Catwoman with the no mask. Why is this not hanging up there? There we go. Another Battinson, another Joker. And this guy's new, Slammer. Uh, but I do not see Catwoman, two penguins. We got this man who's out of place. Doctor Strange, more strange. Sleepwalker back there. These guys, this whole wave, wave for days. Made in America, shelf warmer. And that is what we are working with. I'm probably gonna get these two guys here. Bats and Joker, because I don't have them in the uh, Mafex. Don't have the Mafex versions, so. I gotta say, this thing is pretty cool. Diecast Jada Toys Optimus Prime, non-transforming. 
drive. That's cool. Um, I'm actually looking for the Jada, the new Batmobile that lights up. It's like a 1 18th scale. I'm looking for that one. John Wick Taxi. What? Now, if this, this is what you call the cash grab right here. That's what you're paying for. Not that. Anyway, guys, that is a scare glow. That is what we are working with. This guy's hair and chin. So, uh, this segment is brought to you by uh, Captain Indecisive because I put those two McFarlane, Batman, and Joker figures back and then ended up getting something completely different. Ortiz, Santana, Proud and Powerful, LAX, whatever you want to call them. I like them. They're awesome. I already have them, but in not these. In the, uh, the first ones they did with the Puerto Rican flag and all that stuff. Um, but I like these. I like this face sculpt. So... Okay, so at Walmart. So I got this puff at Walmart. Isn't it so cool? <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then. It's a house for my squishmallows! That, yeah. Wow. That is what I got. <laughs> Amazing. I know. All right, so we're going to go to Wall. I was going to say Walgreens. Walmart. We're going now. to Walgreens. Walgreens no longer exists. They tore it down. It's going to be a Panera Bread now. No, there's one back there. It's going to be an Artemi Panera Bread. We're going to that one. We're not going to that one. They never have anything there. They have fidgets. We're going to go to Walmart, and I'm going to show you what they got, and hopefully they got some good stuff. Adios. Bright white. Oh, no. I wanted to say that. No, what are you doing? You ruined the moment. I had to say bright white. For Robo. It's good. Bright Happy. white. They're playing crash test dummies here on lithium. Yeah, Walmart. All right, we're at Walmart. Lots of cards. Cards for days. No AD dub. Excuse you. We have some OPG. No platinum, which I do like. They do have some mosaic hanger boxes. Damn. Jenny cards. Oh. And baseball, optic, Harry Potter wands, and there's the card section, guys. There's the card section. So we're gonna go, what is this? It's Pokemon. Ready? Yeah. This way. Is in the bathroom. And yeah. Like, uh, who is this? And this is, a, and Rose is like, this is Rose. Girl, what? Girl, girl. Room. Oh, daddy. By the way, this is my favorite aisle to go. What are those? This is my favorite aisle to go down to go to the toy section because it's so it's wide. Smash, What's the candle good. section? It's Frame section, good. but it's really wide. So oh. even if there's people not paying attention to their surroundings, like people usually do in Walmarts and Targets and generally everywhere, you can get around them. It's awesome. What? Holy frick. Oh my gosh. It has the hair. What does that even mean? All right, we're in the toy section. Let me show you what they got. Okay, standouts, Coronation Starscream, they restocked because this was not here yesterday. What other treasures do we have to find here? There's some Ravage, Ravage for days. Tears for Fears playing in the background. They're gonna come after me. They're knocking on the door right now. So I have to keep talking because Tears for Fears, if I keep talking, then they won't be able to identify this as a copyright. Hey, look, there's Red Hood. He's awesome. I might get that one. That's actually pretty cool. No, I'm not gonna get that one. Holy crap, Tears for Fears is singing really, really loud right now. So do they, oh my freaking Lord. Oh my freaking Lord. Oh my, there's three stings. There's three stings. There are three stings, and Tears for Fears is still trying to open. And there's Tay Tay. There's Tay Tay. There's Tay Tay. I'm sorry if I'm annoying anyone right now, but I don't want to get hit with a copyright claim from Tears for Fears. So I have to keep talking so that their audio can't be identified. I'm running out of breath right now because I'm walking and talking at the same time. Kate for days back, back there, by the way. Hey, look at that. Uh, I hear Tay Tay freaking out about something. Oh, there's her. Uh, whoa, what is that? It's probably some little two dollar fidget uh do we have anything here no okay i'm gonna cut now because i'm legitimately running out of breath i'm probably gonna pass out and fall and hit myself hit my head on the floor hey what are these up here hey there's an entire wave all right i'm gonna check these out okay bye just having a convulsion guys 
I have to call the paramedics. <laughs> because <A dog? laughs> because of these little things here. Um, I think she's about to Superman punch me. Acknowledge her. Acknowledge these things that caused her to freak out. You can get one. You can get one. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's gonna super Dude. kick me. That was the uh, no. sweet chin music. I need to get Pick both. One. Pick no, one. no, no, I can't. I if you watch my videos and you were in Walmart and Tay Tay just walked up to you thinking that you were me, I apologize for her so doing that. Was so, she was this guy just looking at the toys and I'm like, <laughs> hot coming, bye. And I look up and I'm like, hi. And then he's just like staring at me and I'm like, sorry. Probably watches my videos. I apologize, my friend. Didn't mean for my daughter to think that you were me. That was scary. He was wearing a black coat. Why is it scary? Because he was just staring at me. <laughs> I would I was, too if some random kid just walked like up to me. Like, literally like this <laughs> and then he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, sorry. Oh lord. By the way, I'm not gonna get any of the stings because I already have one loose and I already have one inbox. So I'm gonna leave it for the other collectors and or the other scalpers. All right, here we go. Now I have to keep talking because the freaking Peter Cetera is singing in the background. I forgot what the name of the band. Chicago? I think Chicago is playing in the background. Anyway, I have to keep doing this. It's really annoying. I'm sure I'm annoying you guys. There's moon pies. I'm not going to buy the moon pie. Some people thought that that was the weirdest thing that I've ever purchased was a moon pie. Holy cow, there's a lot of audio going on with these freaking TVs. And now Peter Cetera getting louder and louder. Here's the next section. There you go. Take a look. Take a gander. Some uh, foot soldiers down there. I have to keep talking, Tay Tay, because I'll get a copyright claim if they identify the music that's playing in the background there's this stuff that stuff and more stuff and there's some arcade one-ups Ooh, do they have nba jam because i heard that it's on clearance for 50 bucks in some places i don't see it hopefully this simpsons machine will go on clearance soon and uh, if it does then i might pick that up but i don't have any room for it so we'll just have to find a spot for it maybe in tay tay's room right next to her bed that'd be pretty cool keep her up all night when that thing is uh, bright i want to get this robotech uh, dvd set at least part one uh there's anime for your friend she loves anime but uh all right uh, that's a wrap guys sorry i didn't find anything and sorry i had to do this constantly but walmart likes to blast their freaking music like we're in a damn nightclub so anyway adios there's zod kneel before zod kneel before uh, Tate. <laughs> there's zod he looks really cool here's the lone riddler 12 inch statue uh, this place got raided because this one, this uh, stand was completely full the other day. This is a new one here. Hey, there's soups. Okay. Oh, Superman, he's stuck in there. Oh, there he is. Frank Miller soups, DKR soups. I'm getting the Mayfax version. That's the main reason I didn't get. Whoa, I didn't get the uh, McFarlane ones is because I have most of the Mayfax ones already. This one's new. Uh, fur coat Batman. Good old fur coat Batman. They got this one. They got this one here. New, is that the new 52? I think that was when Dick Grayson was running on Batman. Do you, do you, I heard you, girlfriend. I want to tell <laughs> the people. You want to tell the people? Yeah. Uh, I'm just making sure they don't have the figure I'm looking for. Nope. Big strikeout. Yes, tell the people. Okay, so today I did a Walmart going to Walmart TikTok, and then I want to do a haul of the things I got from Target and Walmart because I got like five things. But then, but then I also want to. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. I post once every day, but I want to post twice today, so I not post tomorrow, so people are bored and waiting for my haul. Okay. Oh, are you still talking? I'm gonna get copyright claim for that. So we're all done with our toy hunt. We're gonna head back home. I didn't find nearly as many things that I was looking for, but that's okay because she found I, everything she was looking for. I rated it a five star visit. Five star visit. She rated it on the cash register. She got her two neatos. Whatever those are, I still don't know what those are. Are they balls? Are they like squish they, balls or they're, something? They're, they're stress balls. Okay. Well, she got those. I did not get the stinger because I already have it and I don't want to be a hoarder and I don't want to be a flipper so I'm going to leave it for the collectors. Hopefully the collectors find it not one guy that buys them all and flips them on eBay. So I didn't Annoying. get the 
Because I already have that uh, variant stinger. I just need the regular sting. So that's the one I'm really looking for. Um, and then I got the Santana and Ortiz, which I really liked when I went back and looked at them again. So didn't leave empty handed. Got some new AEW figures. Excited for those. She struck gold on this toy hunt. It was nice having Tay Tay with me on a toy hunt again. It's like old times when we lived in Cincinnati, since she doesn't get to go with me very often. Twas fun. Anyway, guys, we'll see you back in the nerd bar. I have a lot of stuff to show you, so uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of the haul. Ami Ami box, ringside collectibles box, really excited for that. Um, TF Source box, lots of stuff. So join me back in the nerd bar, and uh, I'll show you what I got. Adios. Bye. All right, guys, back at home, back in the nerd bar, and it is haul time. Uh, I actually have some comic books to show you. On my last live, uh, I asked people if they were interested in seeing which books I'm reading. I used to show this all the time, uh, so I'm bringing it back. There's only six books here this week. Some of them didn't even come out this week. Some of them are older issues, including this one right here, Moon Knight number four. Got Tiger on the front. That's a badass cover. It is uh, Steve McNiven, who used to be one of my favorite artists. He, I think he only does covers now for the most part. But look at that art. Moon Knight, Tigra. Moon Knight number four. The only one I'm missing is Moon Knight number three, and apparently that was like the first appearance of a new character. So um, hopefully I can find a second print of that one. Uh, this is another issue that did not come out this week. This is Thor number 20. This was, I guess, the first appearance of a quasi-new villain, kind of older villain with new powers. I freaking hate how speculators have kind of ruined the comic book market where if there's like some kind of change to an old character, the speculators are like, oh, let's buy the frick out of it and cause the damn book to raise and people that actually just read the title can't even get it and have to wait for a freaking second print. Anyway. Sorry about that rant, but uh, that is currently the state of affairs in comic book land. Uh, I got, this one came out this week, Detective Comics. I am reading Detective. I like Detective. Love the cover artwork. Love the storyline. Good stuff. Uh, Nightwing, I'm like, I don't know, six to eight issues behind on Nightwing. Need to catch up. But uh, I got that one. And the last two books are image books. This one did not come out this week, but the one after that did come out this week. This is the Scorched number two. I like this old school looking cover, a little homage. Uh, but uh, this, if you were not aware what this is, this is basically like the Avengers of the Spawn universe. Bunch of different spawns get together, doing stuff together. And then this one actually did come out this week and I freaking love this cover because it is an homage cover to X-Men number one. This is the Scorched number three. Look at that, that is awesome. Very, very cool. Even down to the little uh, 30 years thing uh, that Marvel did way back when in the 90s or whenever the frick. There's the comics, guys. That's all I got. That's all I got this week. Um, I usually have, I don't know, four or five books a week. Kind of scale down what I'm, uh, what I'm reading so that I can actually read them and not be eight to ten issues behind on Nightwing. Looks like I still need to scale down a little bit more. Uh, let's get on to the figures. So you saw this one in the hunt footage with Tay Tay. It was really, really fun to just do a hunt with Tay Tay again. Uh, if you are a long time viewer of this channel, you know, when she was a little smaller, younger, we used to go on daddy daughter uh, toy hunts all the time. Now, not as frequent, so it was just fun to do that. But I got Santana and Ortiz. Again, I had the Dark Knight uh, Returns figures in my hand, put them back last minute and got these two guys. I just think that these versions, I like them more than the older versions. It seems like the AEW figures, as as more waves come out, the quality uh, is getting better and better and better in the face sculpts. So there you go, Santana Ortiz, formerly of the Inner Circle. I, I kind of like to think that those two that I currently have from that old wave, those are like the Inner Circle versions. These are the proud and powerful, now former Inner Circle versions. First box we're gonna open, this is from Ringside Collectibles. Uh, I do not remember what is being shipped at this point because with Ringside, you basically order stuff and then when it comes, you have to pay for it up front. That's kind of the sucky part about pre-orders with Ringside Collectibles is you pay for stuff right up front in order to guarantee your spot. 
And if you're like, nah, I'll just wait for it. Then you just go further and further down the line and then you end up getting it late. So um, yeah, it just kind of sucks that you have to pay for it up front. But I do have some stuff here. Ooh. So we have some, uh, some legends, some WWE legends to add to my WWE legends shelf. I have like a little mixture of Ruthless Aggression era and WWF era uh, superstars on one shelf. And this guy's awesome. I think this was a ringside, yes it is, ringside exclusive. Ultimate Warrior, look at that. Very, very cool, let me take a look at that. That's badass. Very, very cool use of uh, soft goods there with that, that jacket, ring attire. Here's the back of the box. Wow, look at that expression on his face. Right there, and then what do we got over here? That right there, so. Ringside exclusive Ultimate Warrior, gonna go right on the legend shelf, front and center, front row. And then this guy's gonna go front and center, front row, right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. Cause when you think of WWF, who do you think of? If you're an old fart like me, you probably think of this guy right here. Frickin' the Hulkster, Hulk Hogan. So this is the uh, Elite 91 Hulk Hogan. Um, I actually saw this one at Walmart recently, but I didn't pick it up because I knew I was getting it from ringside. So there he is with the boas. There's the back. Bam. Warrior and Hogan. I have a box here from TF Source, which I'm very, very excited for. If you could see behind me right here, this is my now all Transformers kind of half bookshelf. I do want to get like a Ikea Billy, which goes way up there. And it's, I want to get a white one. I want to get lots of lights in it so it shows everything to the back of the bookshelf and make that like my big Transformers display because those are adjustable so I can have like big ass Devastator in there um, and adjust the shelves accordingly. But anyway, I'm very, very excited for this pickup right here. Got a little Brickski, little Brickski box. <clears throat> so when I think of Decepticons, Obviously, I think of Soundwave, Starscream, the Constructicons. And then in my mind, these guys are right up there with all those guys that I previously mentioned. There is a lot of bubble wrap here. Holy cow. Bad Cubes, Masterpiece Scale, Insecticons, baby. So hell yes. Masterpiece Scaled Insecticons. Fans Toys made some, they're very, very expensive. Bad Cube made these, they're a lot more affordable. I think I got these for like 180 for uh, the three of them. So about 60 bucks each. But again, die cast, masterpiece scaled, so they'll fit perfectly with this top shelf here. There's another one there. And there's the final one right there. Hell yes. Really, really excited to get these on that shelf. I have a spot right here right here for them. So Insecticons, third party bad cube, masterpiece scaled. I don't know if they're still on sale at TF Source, but again, I got them for like 180 and change, I think. Uh, we got two more boxes here. As you can see, this one is Ami Ami. I'm pretty sure I know which one this is because I paid for it recently and they sent it lightning fast. If you guys watch this channel, you know what I buy from Ami Ami. I buy Mafex figures from Ami Ami. Armored Batman. Armored Batman from DKR. Can't wait to get the Superman, pose these guys together. This thing looks freaking awesome. This looks awesome. Hell yes. Can't tell if that's a, it looks like a soft goods cape. Look at how awesome that looks. Those head sculpts. Mafex, DKR. The final box here is from my buddy Rashad. He said, I'm gonna send you something. I'm not sure if you have these figures. Hopefully you can use them. So I'm not sure what is in here, but I went to the PO box, picked it up, and we'll see what my buddy Rashad sent. Oh. Oh, sweet. All right, so I was like, when I saw the back of this box, all right, so when I, the first thing I saw in here was this. I was like, Hmm, last airbender, Avatar, I'm not a big anime guy. And then I turned it over and now I fully understand why Rashad sent this to me. 
translucent, plastique, translucent. That looks freaking awesome. That looks awesome. So it's a Diamond Select Avatar Ang, but I have a translucent figure collection, so this will go perfectly with those guys right there. And then there's a little bag in here too. All right, Rashad, what else did you send me here? We got a bag of stuff. Oh, sweet. Oh, my buddy Rashad took care of me with the translucent. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. A light going right through him. That's a He-Man figure. That is a He-Man figure. Translucent plastic. Very, very cool. I love it, dude. Love it. And there's some more stuff in here. What is this? Oh, that's cool. All right. So first of all, there's big ass broadsword for He-Man. So we got this guy right here. Looks like Robin. Is that an R on his chest? That's Robin. I'm not sure what wave this is from or what series this is from, but that's freaking sweet, dude. Very, very cool. I didn't, I've never seen that figure before. And then we got some accessories and we got one more little guy here. I had no idea what this is from, but look at that. I love clear plastic and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny that when a fig walks in with some clear plastique, puts that thing in your face, you get sprung. That didn't even rhyme. That was Those were terrible lyrics. I apologize for that. I was trying to think it on the go. I had none of this planned. I'm just trying to bring in the baby got back thing with the translucent plastic. Freaking awesome. Clear plastic. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I got a lot more to film. Uh, I still have to unbox my Razor Crest. It's staring at me right now. Still don't know where I'm gonna put it. Not 100% sure where I'm gonna put it, but I have to unbox that. I have another toy haul. Another toy haul to show you. And um, I found something freaking amazing. Absolutely amazing. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, that's it for now. So thanks for watching. One more plug. If you have completely missed my last two videos, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, I was in a short film. And you can check out that short film on Not Another Retro Channel's channel on YouTube. Just search Not Another Retro Channel. Or you can search for the name of the video, The Last Haul of My Life. It is the first of what will hopefully be many more short films, baby. Tell me how you like it. Tell me in the comments on his video, because I've been checking those comments. Tell me on this video, if you already watched it, tell me what you think of the video. It's one of my favorite things ever. So um, give it a watch. Let me know what you think. And hopefully we'll make a lot more and hopefully they will entertain you. That's the whole point of this, is to entertain you and to entertain us. So there you go, guys. That's it for now. Adios. I'll see you around the corner and have fun collecting.